All right, this here I found in the garbage, believe it or not. It definitely looks like some furniture out of the 70s. Oh, look at Stevie. He really loves to help out as much as he can, right? Anyways, this here, like I said, I found in the garbage, as you can tell here, it's super dirty and dusty. I had to wipe it down a lot, it was just disgusting. So this furniture here is definitely something out of the 70s, I'd say. It is a little side end table of some sort. The screws are very, very hard to undo and some of the pieces were fairly rusted. I hope you enjoy the process of taking this little treasure piece apart. It was a lot of fun to do this. I've cleaned this all up and it looks a lot better now. It's time to sand it. Sand all this. Well, I'm gonna be leaving the top like this and I'm just gonna be sanding all the other pieces here. So let's carry on with this. You tell me you're Oh my scared. god, sanding this sucked. It stunk. It just stunk like an old antique shop. Personally, I do not like the smell of that. And it was so hard to get this layer off. So, I did what you don't supposed to do, which is just paint right on over it. I had a really nice chalk based paint. So, it worked out really good, especially with a uh, little something that I did at the end there. Taping all of this made it a lot easier to get in the little tight nooks and crannies there. Yeah, it was a lot of fun to do. Wherever you're going, I'm going 
all this is really nice to look at. This nice fire here while painting this. It's Christmassy, that's for sure. So I have all this already painted the inside and I'm just going to be taking off this tape now. I think taking off the tape is the most satisfying part. It's uh, definitely enjoyable. I'm thinking about being a little bit adventurous with the top. I will like to show you what I mean by that after I take this off. Nice. So perfect. Ah! <laughs> ah. So, why don't I show you the top and let you know what I'm thinking about. I think that you guys might like this. Essentially what I'm thinking is to keep the top like so. I, I really ha like how the top is not very dented. It's still pretty good for just finding this in the garbage. And I really like the top trim here, but I believe I'm going to be painting this here. I'm going to try doing white at first. Uh, sorry about that. The battery died. Where was it? Hmm. I don't know. Anyways. So what I'm thinking is to keep the top like so, paint the trim here. I'm gonna start off with white, but if I don't like the white, I'm gonna do black. The sides, I'm going to keep gray. Uh, and this, I'm gonna be doing, I think, black. I just thought about that right now, looking over there of how it would look. I think I'm gonna do a black, this trim black right here, right around there. This is gonna be the gray for the drawer with the nice, gold knobs, so I think that's going to look really nice. Well, I have the top, middle, and 
bottom part of this piece painted. I'm fairly happy with how it is coming along and the contrast that it's having. I'm very excited to see what it's going to look like when it's all put together, but I still have about three more layers to go. I'm not going to film myself painting all those layers, probably just a little end process. And then the final aspect, which is going to be putting it all together, which I hope you all are excited just as much as I am. Let's carry on with it. So there's a few little parts here that I'm going to fix up just with a little bit of a knife in the corner and just kind of pick off a few little pieces that didn't get completely covered up by the tape there. So I can definitely let you know that I'm not an expert by any means for any of this stuff. I totally should have sanded all this, some kind of finishing on it, but uh, I tried sanding it and it just didn't work out for me. I, I need to get an electric sander. But as I was kind of picking away at the paint there uh, along the edges, I realized how easy this is gonna come off, especially for the chalk based paint here. So I'm going to put some Liquitex over it, which is just a gloss medium varnish here that I usually use for most of my paintings. Let's see if it's gonna work for this. I don't know, maybe I'm gonna put it on the wood as well, just to kind of give that a nice finish as well. And see how it all goes. Just comment down below and wish me luck, or simply give me a like, and uh, yeah, if you like all this. Okay, well, it's been all varnished and behind me here I have all the pieces. So let's put this thing together and uh, see how it turns out. I hope that I remember how this goes back together, but we'll see. You poured it out into the ocean, cause you can keep it when I fall. Oh, I don't know, I'm hoping this works.
Well, I'm so happy that turned out really good and I have nothing else to say, but look at it's all gone. All gone. What do you guys think? It's a big change. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I haven't had short hair in like three years and it's a lot more blonde and uh, backstreet boy. <laughs> I'm joking. All right, so everything is done and I'm ready to sell this and let's see how it goes. Okay, thank you so much for staying till the end and for this big surprise too, right? Please like, share, and subscribe to this video. It helps, I'm really trying to grow my YouTube channel here. Also check me out on all my other social media here, which I have Twitch, I haven't done Twitch lately, but this is my Twitch, my Instagram. I do all my updates of my artwork and my life here on Snapchat. So please follow that stuff and I will see everyone on my next video. That would be right here. <laughs> And till next time, remember, stay ambitious. Okay, see you later.